in our foods is the most important macronutrient protein it's going to maintain our structures in the body bones muscles skin skin elasticity everything and high quality protein is going to improve our immunity high quality protein is going to give us a slim body it reducing white fat in our body while increasing the more important fat brown fat in the body at the same time protein is going to create a satiety level so we don't get overeating we don't feel like overeating when we take high quality protein when we are talking about protein when we go to buy some protein containing foods people tell soya bean is a good protein lentil is a good protein and also they tell is uh, milk containing whey protein casein eggs are good quality protein so but it is it is very complicated if you go through really whether the protein has a good quality what is what i mean by good quality the good quality is when we take protein how much of it is going to use by the body for protein synthesis when we take protein it digests into amino acids and the amino acids should absorb into blood stream and enter into tissues to produce protein so that is to call it protein if we can take some protein and the the digestibility of it should be at least 75% if if this 75% of the reference protein that is usually take as the we take reference protein as the casein or eggs and that in reference to that there should be at least 75% of that amino acid digestibility to say it is a source of protein so and also to say it is a good quality protein it should be at least 75 to 99% if they are going to claim it is a high quality protein it should be over 99% 100 or more than 100 but but when we take most of the vegetables proteins may it be soya bean may it be some legume see something like lentil kidney beans those don't have that amount of digestibility of amino acids they don't have so that they they cannot claim even as a source of protein even as a source of protein we cannot say that's what i am going to explain and the same foods same vegetable foods we can say it's a good source of protein also by processing it in a such a way so th the purpose of this this video is to first explain the problem of protein availability and then how can we overcome that problem and what are the factors affected on that problem and how we can remove those factors so that's the purpose of this video so when we the, we have to first understand what is this high quality 
and the WHO Food and Agriculture Organization has produced uh, the 2013 they are telling the protein digestibility should be checked at the end of the small intestine amino acids of the particular foods and they check amino acid of the particular food and check the limiting pro amino acid of that protein food protein containing food and then they give a value that is called the in indispensable amino acid score digestible indispensable amino acid score what is this so you will learn little later we can produce protein using 21 amino acids out of them 9 has to be taken from the diet that is called dietary dispensable diet should dispense that amino acid so that is the problem that the, when the diet is not going to produce not, not going to give some amino acids then that particular protein synthesis cannot happen whatever the amino acid is going to limit from the required amount of amino acid out of those nine is going to limit the protein synthesis so the, when the protein synthesis is at 100% with amino acid required amino acid levels and this 100% is going to get lower lower with if there is any amino acid out of those 9 is limited so those nine amino acids are there in the, the slides I am explaining and then certain foods especially plant foods has certain amino acids very limited that's why this uh, vegetable food cannot uh, claim as a source of protein it's not a source of protein so when we for example when we get 16 it's very low it is very low in uh, terminal ileum and it, that digestibility is very low so that when the that cysteine is very low that the body cannot synthesize protein from that amino acid in particular food from that vegetable so so that is a waste of amino acid that is what we call quality quality of protein so on the other hand if we get uh, casein in whey protein milk that has all the essential elements at the optimal level so that at the terminal ileum level that is the end part of the small intestine or small bowel has 100% of availability of amino acids nine, all 9 amino acids are there at 100% level so protein can synthesis to maximum then now we know something about this protein and we will explain this in a more scientific sources So the next slide is uh, what I got this knowledge from this mainly from these two sources in addition to some textbooks. So here uh, what I am going to tell is the protein quality of this what we claim we have soya bean they have they say they have protein high level of protein 50% or something like that but 
they have some protein absorption inhibitors the protein should uh, digest to amino acids to do that small bowel has enzymes stomach has enzymes those enzymes are going to inhibit by particular chemical compounds in itself in those legumes the soya beans so this the it is the activity for if you take gram or sample of uh, soy bean or something and then the it has trypsin in it the trypsin is uh, secreted from the pancreas to the small upper part of the small intestine and it has it is called inhibit by trypsin inhibitase found in soy bean raw see this soy bean raw has this much and that is what i am explaining so a flower row has this much this is what we say they, they have protein but they have this much of this much of oh, trypsin inhibitors by that way it's going to reduce the activity so another slide is going to show the same thing this nutrisoy is that uh, raw is raw protein this is what i explain these are the nine essential amino acids this amino acid it should be limiting amino acid should be more than 75% to claim it has a protein source see this most of them are not available into that level that is what i am telling it is not even a source of protein so source of protein because this essential amino acid most of them below 50 below 40 here 59 here below 59 so that is what i explain here about this essential amino acids and this one i will explain again later so this is a one problem one is this protein that the soy has trypsin inhibitors those are protein activity that they it protein di digestibility of soy protein is going to reduce by trypsin and the, some other problems are there even the beans kidney beans they also have limitations so see raw kidney beans have how much of this uh, essential amino acid concentrate only on this at this moment i will come to other sets later so this is what is happening with I, what i told you is this is about this is soya bean lines various lines and consider about this row ones row row and the trypsin inhibitor activity is this much 20.3 and because of that it protein digestibility is 58% so protein efficiency ratio efficiency ratio is that how much of protein what we ingest can use for protein synthesis in our tissues is negative so another one pro 51 another so for soya protein series 48 and it's again negative here also negative protein efficiency ratio is negative because It, it has trypsin inhibitors into higher level in raw so this is what i am telling so this is trypsin inhibitors so then here this is another problem with uh, 
soya beans, kidney beans. There's a tannin. Tannin is also bind to amino acid and prevent its absorption. So the tannin, see this one, is another problem. Legumes, it can contain 110.7 grams per kilogram up to that much from 0.6.1 percent something like that. So the tannin is a one problem. And other one is the phytic acid, phytate. Phytate content in these uh, ce mainly cereals, even lentils, beans also have. But in rice, in corn, sorghum, they all have phytic. This is going to bind to protein amino acids and they prevent the digestibility. So I told about phytic, like earlier tannin, before that trypsin inhibitors. So they are the problem creating it, vegetarian diet those who expect to take protein from vegetables. We will go to some other now. So this is what I told about trypsin inhibitors. So what we can do? Now we know trypsin inhibitors. It, trypsin inhibitors are also some proteins and we can inactivate them by boiling for 10 minutes. So trypsin inhibitors can reduce 80% by boiling for 10 minutes. Autoclavin also can reduce, steaming also can reduce, here it is about boiling. Bo boiling 10 minutes is enough for ten, uh, reducing activity for 80%. But still we don't know how much of trypsin activity should reduce to improve the protein quality to a very good extent. So this is autoclavin of soy protein. So I told that a lot of amino acids at a lower amount in raw, pro raw protein or on raw soybean. So that when we autoclave, we can improve those amino acids into this level. Here, except for 16, 68% and uh, threonine, 73%, all others are at a high quality level. But still, this because of cysteine, we still autoclaved soya bean, we cannot claim as a source of protein because this cysteine is going to get the all other amino acid availability to 68% or low. That is what happened. Whether it is 90%, it's not going to use. Only 68% is going to use. Here it is 83%, still it is not going to use. It is going to use only 60 because it need all the amino acid to optimum level. But here the, it is limiting by this sense uh, amino acid system so that all other amino acids going to pay. That is why although autoclavin can improve this amino acid, still it is not a source of protein because it should exceed 75%. So that so that so what the, we can do is that the uh, the soya bean processors, those manufacturers of soya, they add these amino acids from other sources and then they uh, improve this 68% to more than 80% and then uh, they, they claim soy as a source of protein. So that is the, what is called processing and uh, supplementation. So this is what you have to learn here. So here is about kidney beans. Same thing. At the cooking, that is a boiling in pool, amino acids, it's what here, so on. And canning, because it has autoclavin, it heat, 
at can it it's also going to improve but uh, you can see that boiling itself is enough for us but the canning is going to create the preservation of food for a long time so we have to balance what, what is better here so here the we saw earlier that row consider concentrate on the row but when it is autoclaved we can see uh, this protein digest will have improved to 70% and boiled 93%. So that protein efficiency say 2.37 it's almost close to the uh, serial uh, to casein protein level. Casein protein level has 2.47 that is the best protein so this boiled so it has very good level of protein density here this is a particular brand of so in nigeria in nigeria okay so this is just explaining how we can improve the protein availability of this thing how or on what grounds it is going to improve it is by protein efficiency ratio it's by protein digestibility so that's what I told so by this boiled this series of soybean increase the uh, amino acid availability to di digest it fully and the it, it its protein synthesis that the, is very much upper level that's why 2.3 2.47 is for the best level that is caseins whey proteins so that is about the this is another one tannin tannin is a difficult right it is heat stable when we boil or talk layer tannin is going to uh, not going to reduce it, if it is reduced is very minimal so it, to do with tannins the, it is a germination is found to uh, reduce tannin levels other way to get the tannin containing vegetables or drinks or anything uh, these two hours apart from our high quality protein and uh, this is the another way germination and other ways to get the genetic engineering methods to uh, get tannin low seeds cereals and legumes so this is uh, about the other anti-nutrient phytic acid here we see that rice it has the polishing right polishing here polishing is in the upper part surface it has lot of phytic level when it is polished it is reduced into 3 so that's what it say uh, here 55 grams per kilogram of uh, surface of that the, it has and the rice has but then the it is phytic acid reduced into 3 grams per kilogram when the, that surface part that covering if removed that's what it is showing even for wheat 6 the wheat bran 34 here if we take lentils they have 7 so beans this 10 to 15 level of phytic acid this phytic acid is going to reduce protein availability it binds to amino acids and it, it is not allowing protein to absorb so that is there are systems to reduce phytate content the fermentation fermentation this African method of fermentation that they had a temperature of 30 
they add some uh, lactobacillus from yogurt or milk and then let it ferment for about uh, three days then by that way you can reduce somebody can reduce uh, the phytate levels so they reduce 25 percent and improve protein digestion by 14 26 percent by if we ferment it this is what it's going to show this, uh, this is done in millet protein millet cereal and they found the fermentation can reduce and the fermentation can be done for legumes and many other cereals and there are interesting uh, YouTube uh, articles, YouTube videos. I will post it here uh, and uh, you can go through them also and get a better full knowledge about fermentation. So this is what I told. Uh, we can time high protein meals with anti-nutrient meals, those anti-nutrients which are tannin, phytate and Ripsin inhibitors, those protein inhibitors. If we know those, then we can reduce. Another one is soaking for 24 hours. Phytate level can reduce to 16 to 25 percent. Fermentation that I already told in millet 88 percent reduction of fermentation with 72 hours is 30 degrees. And germination produced to 40 to 72 percent of this. So this is how we can improve protein availability of vegetables so thank you very much for listening so i will post uh, some more about this and already i have posted protein availability and you can go through them also if you like these things you can subscribe and say like and also get the bell mark to get more when I post more videos related to nutrition you can get it thank you